up guys and good morning. I'm here at the Utah Gaming Con and Swap Me. Pretty much a huge convention guys that's dedicated to video games, toys and collectibles and you know it, Funko Pops. Today is also an episode of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge so I'm gonna throw it back to Mason at the studio to explain what's going on today. So overall goal of the $50 challenge is to buy a $100 Funko Pop from every single Funko Pop category, starting with just a $50 bill. I last left off with a balance, guys, of $163.99. I recently had a whatnot auction a couple of weeks ago and I sold pretty much my entire inventory. And out of the 13 items that sold, guys, and after fees and everything, I ended up bringing back in $471.86. Which bringing that back to the previous budget, guys, I now am working with $635.85. And if you remember from the last episode guys I don't have very many hundred dollar Funko Pops to buy so I'm hoping at this gaming convention today that I can maybe knock off a category or two and honestly still find some good deals as well and I believe that covers everything so let's throw it back to Mason back at the gaming convention but yeah folks I am here at the Utah State Fair Park and this is the grand building right here looks like this is gonna be full of vendors and everything so I'm gonna let you know what the situation is when I get in but it looks like there's a ton of vendors all right guys i got my tickets made it on in let's see if we can find some good deals so at the first booth that i went to guys i was curious at a couple of pops that i was looking at here at this booth and well he took out the funko app and scanned some stuff and he ended up like charging more than what the funko app had on some things so i ended up passing on some of the things that i was looking for unfortunately at this booth all right guys i came across my second booth here guys that has a bunch of pops and i actually know who this is his name's sky great dude he's always at a bunch of different conventions and everything so i'm gonna look around and see what cool funko pops he has but yeah taking a look guys it looks like this is a dedicated marvel table right here so you got your black light stuff you got gingerbread stuff a bunch of different spider-man in here that rhino is really cool gamora from guardians of galaxy volume 2 Looks like you have some DC. Oh, Smallville with Clark Kent right there is an awesome one. Let's see, what else we got here? Peter Parker from Into the Spider-Verse, which is always a good one. I have that one in my personal collection. Let's see, what else do we have in here? We have an original Loki, guys, from Thor, The Dark World. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what else? Sandman. We got Iron Man, Tales of Suspense good chunk of marvel in here guys that's for sure found a little disney section as well guys i've been debating on picking up these bugs life pops just for my personal collection guys you got flick and princess adder right here those are some cool ones i believe that heimlich is a part of this line as well yeah heimlich you can see him right there doesn't look like he has them at his booth right here but that's a fun set of pops got some ducktails in here you got some toy story wheezy rex army man so lots of fun toy story pops i do have those in my personal collection right behind me guys i think this might be a different booth there is some anime in here it looks like there might be a couple mixed in things in here i don't really focus on anime a lot on the channel but if i do find a good deal you know that always ends up being pretty good but i'm not really seeing anything here that i'm wanting to pick up but yeah some good anime all right folks i made it into the actual booth and there are some other fun disney things in here guys like dory i'm trying to remember if i actually have that in my personal collection i know i have the original ones if they're actually on the back of the box right here no actually these are just for finding dory but i believe there's like crush and bruce and nemo but i don't know if i have this version of dory i'll have to check but inside out is really cool guys i think those are some great pops to get maybe before the new movie comes out this summer and then guys on the back right here looks like it is a good amount of grail so let's dive in and funny enough one of the first ones that i see guys is one that i'm actually looking for for the 50 dollars challenge is the pop zodiac and funny enough guys i actually may or may not have purchased a pop zodiac pop that i might be picking up either later in this video or maybe in the next one we'll have to see but if i didn't i would be picking this up today but Today I am going to pass on it, even though we do need that category. Got a bunch of Pop Rocks in here, which we already have that category. What else? We got Beetlejuice right there. Lydia Dietz is always an awesome one, especially with the new Beetlejuice movie that's coming out. But let's keep diving into this, guys. Daredevil is awesome. Lex Luthor is a great one. What else? Little Shop of Horror. I kind of forgot that they made Pops for that. Velma is a cool one. That's one that I need to add to my collection sometime. We got Russell from Up, Doug as well. What else we got in here? Some Sesame Street back there. <laughs> Deadpool with the Chimichanga truck is cool. Mega Grails, guys. One day I need to pick these up, maybe save for these. But we have Gus and Ezra, the Thousand Piece uh, San Diego Comic Con ones. Those are pretty sweet, guys. Got Space Ghost in there. You got the Animaniacs, Coraline. Coming up here, you got Ghost Face. You got Billy the Crow. Monsters University. I mean, come on, guys. There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right, and what else do I see in here, guys? We got some peanuts. Ooh, I've been thinking about starting this line, guys. I have a couple of different pops from Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't have original Barbosa or Elizabeth Swan, so I'll think about those just for my personal collection. 
We got some Cobra Kai. What else? We got some Pokemon, some animation in here too. Been thinking about getting into the Disenchantment line. Those are fun to see. Got some more Disney in here, and I think I'm gonna go to the other side and see what other props he has. Oh, this is definitely a good line to have here, guys, at this gaming show because you know Five Nights at Freddy's. It's a massive game. So if you want to take a look at some of those different pops, a lot of those have definitely been on the rise ever since the movie and ever since, you know, some of these Five Nights at Freddy's pops have gotten a little bit older. But yeah, it looks like he has some more anime in here and stuff. I'll keep looking around, see if there's anything else that I want to highlight, guys. But there might be a couple things I end up buying. I'll have to see. I'll update you here a little bit. All right, guys. So across from Sky's booth, I actually just bought a pop right here. I'll show you here in a little bit. But I wanted to show you some of these pins that I thought were really cool. And I think I'm going to buy a couple a day. So we got some Futurama ones in there. You have some Simpsons right there. Hey Arnold, like some Nickelodeon, some of my fun, like, you know, adult animation cartoons as well. But yeah, I ended up scoring a pretty good deal, guys, on a pop that was over there. But I wanted to show these pins off as well. All right, guys. So first score of the day, I ended up getting this guy for $9. They were offering a 10% discount on all their different stuff that they had at their table. And Joker, guys, this is a great pop. This goes for about, like, I think $30. So this will be a great one to add, you know, funds back into the collection budget. So first deal of the day, but I think there's still plenty of booths that we can check out, guys. So, oh, I actually see one over there. So before I head over to the one that I was pointing out, guys, I did notice another table that did have some pops and their prices were okay, a little bit on the higher side. Nothing that I was looking for. As you can see, a couple of different like Assassin's Creed, some Disney, even Smaug from uh, The Hobbit up there. So prices were a little bit higher, but nothing that I really wanted to pick up. All right, guys, I came across another booth right here. His name's Matt. He actually watches the channel, which is awesome. So we're going to take a look and see what pops he has. But it looks like he has some autographs in here, which are really cool. So we got Dwight Schrute. We also have Super Saiyan Goku. What else? We have Naruto. Hawkage Hokage. Uh, I probably said that wrong, guys. I don't watch anime. We got Wesley. We got All Might. So he's got some really cool autographs in here. And it looks like he has it. Is this a vaulted vinyl? Yeah, he does. He's got it in the case right here. Oh, he's he knows his protectors. This is, this is a cool case. I I love all these different little uh, minis and stuff, guys, and keychains. That's really fun to look through. But yeah, guys, taking a look at his back wall, seeing what other stuff that he has in here. One thing that catches my eye, or actually there's a couple things that catch my eye right here. A couple different Spider-Man pops from the first uh, Spider-Man PS4 game. So you got Peter Parker right up there. We also have the other one, I think if I can point to it right there. That one's a good Spider-Man as well. But yeah, taking a look at some of the other ones, he has the, uh, the little Ouija piece from the Ouija board, which is pretty cool. We'll keep looking around and seeing some of the other stuff he has. Oh, he also has Bob's Bob in the cart right there from Bob's Burgers. That's one that I need to pick up. I, I still haven't done it, and I'm a big Bob's Burgers fan, so I might have to ask about that one. All right, guys, I ended up buying the burger cart, Bob with the burger cart from Matt over there. I still have some exploring to do. Hopefully, we can find some other things that I'm looking for, maybe some good deals, but I'll keep walking around, and I'll update you once I find something. As I found a couple of other Pops, guys, if you're into the Pokemon stuff, you got, like, some of the Diamond Edition ones from WonderCon. You also have that Eevee right there, the Umbreon. I don't know if I've ever seen that one person it's got that pre-release sticker on it but mj is a cool one i think i have that one in my collection bulbasaur some other pokemon but figured i'd show those off those are pretty sweet all right guys i came across another booth that has a decent amount of funko pops i'm trying to see if there's anything that i want to highlight in here they got some really cool world of warcraft figures guys those are definitely some older ones that you don't see very often a good amount of anime as well i know there's some couple somewhat newer exclusives like naruto right here one piece i'm not even going to try well i can say marco i don't know how to say that name though right there some of the other ones in here guys you got some digimon you got anthony davis with the accurate uh unibrow right there a couple of chases in here with ichigo that demon slayer one that's a cool freddy funko right there got some one piece in here Ooh, metallic lucky cat that was a fan x exclusive just this past year but yeah i feel like there's some pretty good pops in here guys and then the last booth that I came across for the entire show, guys, just showing off a couple of de decent, like, older things here and there. So we got Vision right here. Also, Andy Dwyer, he was asking $15 for. I remember when this pop was going for, like, 50 60 bucks. It's crazy how much it's gone down in value. Some Harry Potter stuff was actually some decent stuff. Draco Malfoy's an okay one, but I ended up passing on that one because he's asking about what it goes for. And then some other things that you have in here, guys. You got some Peter Pan Hot Topic exclusive, which is a cool pop, but I ended up passing on these guys. 
All right, folks, I am on my way out of the little convention swap me. I bought a couple of different things. So I think we're going to head back home and then, uh, yeah, I'll update you when I'm back in the studio. All right, folks, I am back at home. I didn't end up finding any $100 Funko Pops out of that convention, unfortunately, but I still feel like we bought some pretty good stuff. And one of my favorite things that I did end up buying, guys, this is from Bob's Burgers. This is Bob with Cart. This is from the Bob's Burgers movie, I believe. This is an Amazon exclusive, and sometimes when you order stuff from Amazon, it's kind of 50-50 if it'll get to you in one piece. So I figured since I saw it at the convention and it's as much as you would pay on Amazon and the box was in good condition, figured I'd pick it up. But I feel like this is one of these pops guys that you definitely have to take it out of box to appreciate all the different details. I love me some Bob's Burgers guys. So this will make a great piece to, you know, add into my collection, maybe on my desk or something. And uh, I just think it's really cool. As far as other random things that I bought guys, I ended up getting some enamel pins. I'll probably have to add this to my fanny pack that I bring to like conventions and stuff. But we got Reptar right here with some pizza. Got an awesome looking Homer in a Moo Moo dress right there. I love this episode. I got a nice looking happy version of Bender right there. I love me some Futurama. And this is from something that I wish they would make Funko Pops of guys, but this right here is a pin of Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie. So that was definitely a good set of enamel pins to pick up. But the one pop that I did find guys for a good deal that I believe will add a decent amount of funds back into the collection budget would be this guy right here. This is Joker from Persona 5. So I'm looking on the bottom right here, guys. Apparently this one came out in 2019. So I guess that makes it about a five-year-old pop now. But I know actually a good amount of these pops have some good value, guys, from this Persona 5 line. If you want to take a look at some of the commons that are on the back right there. And I think there are a couple of GameStop exclusives as well that have some pretty good value. But like I said, this goes for about 30 to 35 bucks and I paid $9. So looking to add, you know, a little over $20 back into my pocket, which will be good, guys, because it's always great to have more funds to buy, you know, all the other $100 Funko Pops I'm looking for. And guys, this is just part one. There is a part two coming out here very soon. I go to another convention in the same day and I end up actually buying a $100 Funko Pop that I need. So be on the lookout for that future video. But guys, thank you so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another. Always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Peace.